Creating a Facebook and a Skype bot using C Sharp. I'm Michael Washington. You can get my book, An Introduction to the Microsoft Bot Framework, available at Amazon.com and AIHelpWebsite.com. Today's agenda will start with a simple Hello World, will then publish to Skype, and then publish to Facebook. We'll start with the Hello World bot. We start by downloading the Visual Studio template to create a bot application. We'll then open Visual Studio. We'll start with File, New Project, and we'll select the bot application template. We'll create a bot called Hello World Bot. This template will automatically create code that we can use. This is the code that simply returns a reply to the user indicating how many characters they sent. We'll start debugging the bot and it will show up in the web browser. We'll then download and run the Bot Framework Channel Emulator and we'll start chatting with the bot. We will now publish the bot to Skype. We'll open up the Hello World Bot project, right-click on the project node and select Publish. We'll then have the option to create a web app or an API app. Either one will work. We'll select our Microsoft account or create one if we don't have one. We'll then select New to create a new web or web API app. We'll have to come up with a unique name for our web app or our web API app. We'll fill in the remaining information, selecting a subscription, an app service plan, a resource group, a region. Uh, we will not need a database server unless our bot uses a database. We'll click Create. The connection information should automatically be filled in and we just click the Publish button. The web app or the web API app will then be published. We'll need to note the address that was published at. It will usually show up as HTTP, but from here on we'll need to use HTTPS in front of the name. We'll then log in to the Microsoft developer site at dev.botframework.com. We'll select Register a Bot. We'll fill in the information. At one point, we'll have to generate an app ID and password. After it's been generated, there will be a button to finish and go back to the bot framework. However, the password will be shown on this screen, and when it is shown, we'll need to copy it down because it will not be shown again. We'll finish enter entering the information and click the Register button. The bot will then be created. We'll then transfer the bot handle, the Microsoft App ID, and the password to the web config of our project. After we do that, we'll then right-click on the project node and select Publish again. On the Microsoft Developer site, we can click the Test button to test that everything has been hooked up. It should return the message, Endpoint Authorization Succeeded. We will then be able to click the Add to Skype button to open up the bot in Skype. A screen will pop up to ask us to add the bot to our contacts. It will then show up in Skype. We will now publish to Facebook. Log into your Facebook account. Select Create Page. Create the page. We now need to get the Facebook page ID. Go to the About tab on your page and copy down the Facebook page ID. Log into or create a Facebook developer account. Select Add a new app. Create an app ID. Copy down the app ID. You'll need it later. Also, click the Show button to get the app secret. Copy that down. You'll need that also later. 
Select Add Product and add the Facebook Messenger product. Next, on the Token Generation section, select the page you just created. You will see a page token. Copy that down. You'll need it later. Log into the Microsoft Developer Bot Framework site. Select your bots and select the bot you created earlier. And then select Add next to Facebook Messenger Channel. The configuration section will open up and you'll see the section for setting the webhook callback URL and verify tokens. When you click that, it will display the callback URL and verify token that you'll need to copy into the Facebook site. Back on the Facebook site, click the Setup Webhooks section and paste in the callback URL and verify token that you received on the Microsoft site. Also check the subscription fields that you see here. Lastly, click the Verify and Save button. After the webhooks have been set, select the page that you created earlier to subscribe to the webhooks. Select the page and click the subscribe button. Now go back to the Microsoft site and go to the enter your credentials section and then paste in the page ID that you copied earlier, the app ID, the app secret, and the page access token. Next click the resubmit button. Lastly, click the enable this bot on Facebook Messenger and click the button that says I'm done configuring the Facebook Messenger. The window will then close. On the Microsoft Developer site, next to Facebook Messenger. When you click that, it will open up the web page that will communicate with the Facebook Messenger. You will then be able to communicate with your bot on Facebook. All the resources, including file downloads, a complete walkthrough of everything covered here, as well as forums that you can go to for help are available on the AIHelpWebsite.com. My book, An Introduction to the Microsoft Bot Framework, is available at Amazon and also on AIHelpWebsite.com. Thank you.